So, uh, before we go any further, I think it's about time that you get familiar with the Shadow Normal editing tools. Now, there's an add-on called Abnormal, which we'll get into later, but for now, let's just introduce you to the in-house solutions that are already in Blender. Okay, so first off, you need to be able to see the normals. To do that, click the object, tab to edit mode, click up here, go down to normals, and activate the one that says split normals. Your model will become a porcupine, but you'll be able to see each normal on your model. I'd recommend changing the size to something like 0.16. Okay, now that you can see the shadow controls, let's look at the normal edit and menu, which you can find under mesh and normals. Now, I won't go over all of them, just the ones that I think are useful. You already know about the smooth tool, which lets you highlight areas you want and smooth them out. You also have flip, which is useful if your area is facing inside out. You also have rotate, which will start to pivot the normals of your selected area. Notice how the shadows change depending on the rotation. The reason why normals are so important for non-photorealism is because it allows you to control the shadows without making adjustments to the topology or texture maps. Though, good topology definitely helps. If you click point to target, you can press L to point the normals towards the pivot, O to point them towards the origin, or M to point them in the direction of the mouse. Split just marks an edge is hard. If you ever want to average the selection, you can do that by going to face or corner data here. If you want to copy the normal angle from one face to another, select that face, copy vector, then select all the faces you want it to transfer to, then just go to paste vector. And lastly, if you really f*** up, you can always just press A and reset vectors to get that standard photorealistic shading back. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.